everybody. This is Dr. Fang Mei Luo from Tiffin University. Welcome to our social psychology lecture. This lecture original is designed for Tiffin University students who are taking side 250 social psychology with me. But this also are uh, open for public. So even you are not my student, but you open this lecture, welcome. So this actually is the third part of conformity. Okay, we if you don't have chance to watch the part one and part two, you can you know stop the video right now, go back to the part one and part two, then that may be easier for you to listen this part three. Uh, but if you just want to just stay here, it's fine. You know, I do a little bit review and hopefully I can prepare you for this lecture. Okay. Well, when we say conformity, what does that mean? That means you follow people, right? You follow people. Either you want to be right or you want to be accepted, right? Either you want to be right or you say, ah, oh, I'm new here. I really want people to accept me. Okay, now the difference between these two is for the first one, we give them a name called informational social inference. Informational social inference. And the purpose is you want to be right, okay? And certain situations make people more vulnerable for this kind of uh, conformity is if they are in ambiguous situation, if they are in crisis, if they are in the place they have expert then they pretty much follow. And this kind of follow actually quite often they lead to what we call private acceptance, right? I mean, they not only follow, they also in their mind, they register and they tell themselves, hey, this is actually the right thing to do. So the second one, we say we want to be acceptance. You want to be accepted, right? And usually for this, you may be follow, but you may not change your mind. We call they are public complaints. Complaints. Okay, so people follow, they don't change their mind. Why they follow? Because they really want people to accept them. Especially if you are in the new country, you know you know nobody, you don't really know the culture, then you are in the Rome, then do what people in Rome do, then you know you won't go wrong, right? Okay, so then uh, that's what we talk about, you know, for those two kinds. Okay, now <clears throat> we also talk about actually, uh, before we did the last one, we also talk about actually when you are have this conflict between whatever you do and whatever you believe, <clears throat> your mind actually is acting. Okay, your brain, your brain is acting, right? And we say actually, if you are showing uh, conf conf conform to the group answer, actually you know their answer is wrong, you know it's right. <clears throat> Your vision and perception part of brain actually arouse. Okay, act more active, more and more activity than usual. But <clears throat> if you, um, the right answer and disagree with the group, if you decide, to do whatever you think you're supposed to, you you are actually a um, 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 mandala. That means you feel very negative. You're not sure that's good, right? So your um, mandala is very active. And then also your <coughs> counted nucleus also very, <coughs> very negative because that is emphasized more about social behavior. That makes sense? Okay. Okay, so here, uh, I'll let you look at it. So I'll be right back, okay? Then here, the, this slide say the importance of being accurate. So let's think more about this, okay? What happens when it is important to people? 
to be accurate. Okay, so you find in this kind of case, you find it's important uh, to be accurate. Then you see people, if they see uh, the answer obviously is wrong, they confirm less because they feel it's so important to be accurate. So if I see it's wrong, why I need to follow, right? <clears throat> but sometimes even if you know your group, whatever they say is wrong, and the right answer also so obvious, okay? And also they have an incentive to be right. See, sometimes you still find it, it's very difficult for people to follow. <sighs> it's hard to be a people, right? It's be, especially if you are people ple pleaser, you always want to make other people happy, then it's very difficult, right? Okay, so let's see some more. The consequence to resistant normative social inference. Why, why people struggle to uh, not follow? And we know normative social inferences mean what? You want to be accepted, right? Here say, if you disregard the friendship norm, what happened? The group member going to first of all look at you and say, come on, just say yes. What's wrong with just say yes, right? So they will give you, like pull you back right so for example eight people want to watch this movie and then only you want to another movie and people say you are stranger today you take the wrong medicine right so they kind of whatever way either joking or whatever they want to pull you back if you insist you don't want to follow and you know what happened they may say something negative about you did you have that experience, right? You start to feel so lonely. You start to feel like, now what can I do, you know? So actually, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you, if you in psychology, you know, Ka Yong and then um, Freud, right? So when Ka Yong want to be with Freud, when he tried to follow him, in that time, you know, people don't really like Freud. So, um, and Kayong already very famous in his own place. People say, are you sure you want to follow Freud? And then he say, well, if his theory is right, I'm going to follow. And then he followed with him a couple of years, and then he decided to separate because he started to find his idea very different from Freud. Now people, so they become so famous, you know. When we talk about psychoanalysis theory, everybody now is, Freud and Ka Yong, right? People know this. So then um, when, when uh, Ka Yong decided to let Freud, people, you know, ask him, are you sure you want to let Freud? How about all your names, right? And he said, if his theory is not right, I'm not going to follow. And so what happened after he left? What happened? Actually, nobody want to buy his book and nobody wants to listen his lecture, and he really have a hard time. And fortunately, he, he uh, start to work on his own idea, his own theory, and then finally he come back with his own idea, right? So, it's hard, it's hard, right? And that's the same thing, that's why um, a lot of time people resistant, uh, if you resistant to the uh, normative social inference, you can be like this, possible, right? Okay, now we can also apply this to our everyday life, right? So uh, we know like fashion, fashion, right? Even people will not slap to fashion, right? You feel you have your own taste. Well, but here say a lot of time people still dress whatever they think should be appropriate to the right spot or <clears throat> the right date, right? 
<coughs> so that is actually it's really something to do normative social inference uh, in the fashion area right now how about body image that's also something when we talk about eating disorder we cannot not think about uh, about body image right and then especially when people they are still young you know they their picture about what's mean beauty right and so um lot of time people feel the uh, a lot of especially women you know they are following other people's idea about body image right and we can say it's about normative they want to be accepted they may not exactly feel they have to be that way but then they want to be accepted okay and so here say uh, women especially more involved to this and then you can also see uh, different culture have different definition well you know when social media is not that popular when people have no way to really communicate with each other it's for sure um, different culture can stand strongly for their own norm you know but right now because you know the social media and then the movie you know keep go to different country so you know in after war too and then you know because uh a lot of american movie go to asian culture and then people value the whatever they see in the movie it's called pretty right so here say actually since after world war ii uh, people prefer to look like you know uh american people that way okay so actually that if you are american you listen to this you know if you go to asian um quite often people think you are movie star you know that they may want a picture with you right they think oh can you sign this sign this you are movie star because you look just like whatever they see in the movie right okay so uh here talk about in japan you know in japan right now the Japanese people, women, they also they also um, start to feel like uh, you know that that they have to look like certain way. Okay, so actually, like the body image, actually, it's you know that become become an issue if if they relate to eating disorder. It's not mean you should not like your body or you should not. Uh, appreciate your own body shape you know ap appreciate and then if you want to stay healthy that's the best but stay healthy is not mean you have to be uh, you know suffer by you know not eating food you know not you stay hungry that's not the dry right way to to stay healthy right okay now here also more say um, you know that I think this one is uh, tell us, you know, uh, a lot of time, actually different culture, they have a different view about about pretty. Especially when you visit, have a chance to visit different culture, you will see people really value very different way. Okay, or the way they dress also very different. But, you know, you follow whatever you are comfortable. I think that's the best, right? However, a lot of time it's hard. You know, when we see the magazine, when we see the movie, we really want to be that person. But that's if that's not you, you don't even need to follow. Well, it's easy to say than done, right? Okay. Now, even uh, here, talk about, um, you know, if people, they join the sororities, okay? Then, you know, then they may have some issue here in age nine uh no the year 1988 found the authority each uh their own group norm regarding this eating disorder okay uh and binge eating 
it actually is the form of normative social inference, right? That that is not good. That is something we have to uh, take into consideration. You know, healthy. It's very important, especially now with coronavirus. What is important? You are healthy. Okay. You know, we are stay home. Nobody see your body. Nobody see how you dress like. But if you stay healthy, you fight back. You stay survive. And then when every everything goes, we go out and we enjoy the life, right? So health is important. And of course, to stay healthy, you have to eat healthy. Okay. And of course, you do exercise. That's also important too, right? Okay. But even we say that we also find actually men also. Uh, they will follow, you know, the, the social, you know, normative social influence <clears throat> to value what is called masculine, okay, what is cute, called masculine. So the ideal male body now is much more muscular than before, okay. Before, that is not that strong emphasis. Now people, they do, they go to gym, they do exercise, you know, they have those muscles, right. So a lot of men will consider that it's called handsome, right? And that's called muscular, right? So that is also part of the social inference. Don't you think so? Okay. And that's more there. Okay, six pack body, right? Okay. Now, when will people conform to normative social inference? When will people conform to normative social influence? They have a one term, one theory here called social impact theory. Okay, the idea that conforming social influence depends on, first of all, the strength of group, how they important to you. You know how they important to you. For example, if I, you know, I work for Tiffin University, so this group is very important for me. So whatever the group requires us to do, I, I'm going to follow. Or whatever people there do, then I'm more likely to follow because that group is so important to me. Or if your best friend group will be very important to you. So your best friend dress like this, then you more like dress like this. Versus if your classmate is just classmate, well, they are not my friend, right? So then... Um, People may be not go to class, they not really care about what they wear. But when they go out with their group, their friend, they will more likely follow them, right? So it depends on how strength of the group's importance. And also how close in medicine, how close this group with you, right? Your family member, again I say the friends, then you care, you want to you want to follow them. You want to show your conformity with them, then you are you know, classmate, right? And then also the number of people in the group, a number of people in the group. Okay. We say the more important a group is to us and the more we are <clears throat> in the prison, the more likely it will be conform its normative pressure, right? How about the number? How about the number? How many people you think they have a stronger influence can you say the more is stronger can you say that before i go to the next slide okay think about that how many people they how how what's among the people what's the number is that have the highest influence power okay how high how strong how many okay look at this What's this tell you? So you can see how people show their conformity to other people. If they have one people around, that's their, uh, you know, so for example, they, they try to see even the wrong answer, they still answer it. They know it's wrong, but they say, well, it's important to be accepted, right? So if they are one people wrong, they follow a little bit, right? They still make the same mistake a little bit. Two or more, three is more, but you can see here, when you get to four, four or five, they get to this high. And then they'll be the same. They'll be the same after that, right? So that means 
four to five. Okay, like here, three and then four. Four to five, they have already have a strongest power. Okay, so if you add more, they'll be similar. Okay, so if you want to influence people, you don't need to ask thousand million people. You don't even ask, you don't need to even need to have a 15 people. If you just have four to five, they, they can get the same strength. Their power will be similar to people after that. Okay, so save your time. Don't need to call many people. You want to persuade me to do something, you don't need to ask 10 people come to tell me the same thing. Maybe only four to five. Maybe already able to change my mind. Okay, right? That makes sense? Okay. Okay. So here we already see the uh, see that the, the chart. Okay, so in H we will see when the group size is three or more. Remember we, we back we back to that the chart. Okay, if you don't remember, let me go back to that one. Very in our slide two. This one, right? So you see when one, two, three, right, the inference, the highest, right? And the rest of them, they will start to get low, right? So that show the group size, you want to have a, a strong inference, three or four, that is a good range there, okay? Okay, now let's back to our slide here, okay? So here, when the group size is three or more, so in age 1955, the research, conformity increased as a number of people in the group increased, but, but, the big but, okay, very big but, B-U-T, very big, okay. Once the group reach four or five other people, conformity does not increase much. Okay, so four to five is important. Okay, like here. When you get to four to five, then after that, the conformity rate won't increase. You can see even now, some, some, sometimes, you know, when they get to like what, 13, 14, they start going down, right? Right? So um, that is very interesting number and make sure you remember that. Okay. Okay, when the group is important, okay, who will be your buddy, right? Who are the people you care the most, right? So normative pressure are much stronger when they come from people whose friendship, love, and respect because they are a cause of losing least love and respect, right? They would rather follow them and make them happy and they love you back, right? You cannot afford to lose those people. Then you would rather just follow them, right? So we say if people, if they are so high cohesive, high cohesive, okay? and they are making decision for something. Well, you have to keep in mind, those people were less likely to make a logical decision because what? They don't want to us upset each other. So you may find their ideas so similar. Is really they come out the same idea exactly? Not necessary. The reason they got the same result, same idea, because they are just so high level of cohesive, okay? So sometimes if people like, you know, a couple there, they just a very good relationship, very, 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 very strong relationship, and they may come out the same idea about something. Well, chances are one of them sacrifice. One of them sacrifice, so maybe, if you have a chance, go to talk to one of them, they may tell you the truth, right? So, for example, you, you went to the restaurant and then they have a couple, you 
a friend, they are a couple, and they, they all say the same thing right in front of you. And then in the middle of eating, you went to re restroom, and then the wife also went to restroom, chatting with her. You may can hear another sad story why you don't hear in public, right? That is very interesting, right? Okay, well, you also tend to follow more if you don't find any allies. You don't want, you don't find anybody in that group, same, same as your idea, okay? Then you are, you more like to follow, you know, because you feel so lonely without they accept you. But if you are start to find, hey, in this group, somebody looks like the idea is same as me, that like means different from other people, then you'll be very happy and you are less likely to follow because you know somebody is like, is, is, is know your heart, right? Does that make sense, right? Uh, so um, here, Ash, okay, so in his research, okay, so is he fun, you know, uh, depend on his result, okay? So if, you, if they have a six of seven confederate pick the wrong line instead of seven, you see the conformity rate is drop. Conformity rate is drop. So if that seven of his pe people, like, they all answer the same, then other people are going to answer, see, the... the uh, rate is 32 percent okay but then if that six seven of them only six say this but then one have different opinion wow people people know they don't have to follow because those people even not agree with each other that is interesting right okay and so because this so you know when you see the um u.s spring court when they make the uh, decision usually uh, here say most common decision rate is even anonymous but it's 9 to 0 that means 9 people uh, got uh, the same vote among the justice you know because people want to follow get acceptance right the least common decision rate is 8 to 1 with a single dissenter who want to be that person don't you think it's very risk, right? You are around nine people and they are this high position. And if you are the one, you are that one person and you disagree what the rest of them agree. What happened after the meeting? Think about maybe nobody even want to talk to you and they'll be very sad, right? Okay. And they also research about the culture. Okay, how how different culture people show their uh, conformity, okay? So if they study this conformity in collective, collective, this collectivistic uh, culture, that means the culture they pretty much emphasize collective. Everybody is supposed to be harmony together, okay? You will find those people have high level of conformity. Then, if you study, you know, conformity in the individual culture, right? It makes sense, okay? So they find it in Norway. Norway, okay? They are more collective culture than French. So then, people in Norway actually they follow more, they conform themselves more than people from France. They're interesting, huh? Okay, okay, and then uh, they also have a research to show um, the gender difference, the gender difference, okay? And now I see the time is 29 minutes, okay? As I mentioned, I try to keep this lecture within 30 minutes so I can get your attention. So maybe uh, I should stop here before we get to the next step, okay? So I will save the next part for part four. And so this is part three. Okay, so in, that, in this one, we, we talk more about application, right? We feel the, like the, the body size, right? The body shape, right? Is 
how people decide which body, what kind of body, thin is good or you know a little bit chubby is fine, right? Or we say when the conformity power is stronger, right? When when group is so important to you, right? And then when you the people so close to you, right? Or the size and remember four to five actually they are very good size with very good power and then if you are people more than that actually the power after that is not much different that makes sense right so if you are in part of jury okay if you are spring cold are you going to follow or you are going to just stand your own belief that challenging so ask yourself that will be interesting to think about it okay so um before we see each other again please stay safe stay healthy and if you are interested you can prescribe my um subscribe my my channel and i'll see you next time bye bye